Good morning to all the faculty members. Today, uh, there is an FTP program. Uh, the title of the FTP program is Enhan Enhancing Research Ecosystem on the Campus. That is improving the research among, uh, among the faculty members. The speaker is Dr. Sabita, Professor of English, Malareddy Engineering College, uh, autonomous one. And uh, the faculty member may feel that why should I do why should I do is audible? Why should I do research? So the research, the person is a promising faculty, passionate one, and the progressive part. Progressive part. Progressive part. Participants, fashionation, and progressive participant. Then, then they can do it. Then they can. B, then they can be A. And uh, the faculty members who have the design thinking, empathy, define, idea, prototype, and the test. Insert. Okay, And uh, empathy may be being the feeling the pain of others or the problem of others. And then they have to define the problem. They have to think of the ideation for the problem and they should be a, a model for the problem uh, through solution. And the model, whether model is working or not, they have to test it. And then coming to uh, the contents, I'll go one after the other. Uh, the outcome of this online lecture is once you listen to this lecture, there is a place called uh, uh, um, uh, frontal lobe in the brain and that will pump up the thoughts. The immediately the listener will start thinking, planning, memory, and he will judge. And as an academician, you should publish or perish as a researcher and also or flourish nationally and internationally and should resolve the problem of business and industry. And uh, very definition of our general definition is a researcher should carefully investigate, inquire about the new facts and in the new technology. And uh, Clifford Wood defines the uh, research technically like this. He says that the researcher should define the problem, redefine the problem, and then formulating the hypothesis and collecting the um, some uh, data uh, to find out the solutions. First collecting, then organizing, then evaluating the data, marking deductions, and then the research conclusions. But he is very uh, particular about the conclusions must match with the hypothesis. There are different types of researches, descriptive, analytical, applied, fundamental, quantitative, qualitative, and conceptual and empirical researches. And the descriptive research, the difference between descriptive research and analytical research is, in a descriptive research, the, the uh, describer or the researcher doesn't have the control over the variables. So for example, US international trade balancing, uh, uh, if you take that trade in 1974 to 1995, uh, the variables are not under the control of the researchers. Whereas if you take analytical research, and uh, how the variables are moving in what directions the variables are moving in the trade uh, balance of the USA can be analytically researched. Coming to the applied research, and uh, there should be an immediate problem. There is a, a industry called Vijay Electricals at uh, uh, 
uh, Patan Cheru in Hyderabad. It was in doldrums, and uh, the immediate problem was what made the company to, uh, to go into doldrums. Uh, it was found out, and uh, finally, it was taken by Toshiba Electricals. And the fundamental research is. Um, um, I would like to describe the mad about you, uh, the perfume. On the perfume, it's very clearly given the components which will make a person's perfume, uh, the fruit type of perfume or the um, uh, flower type of perfume like that. So people are the buyers or the customers will be attracted by looking at the uh, generalized research which was printed on the um, um, label of the mad about you perfume. Coming to quality to one, quality to one is a behavioral science. Uh, we collect qualitative research through interviews and questionnaires, and the quantitative research <laughs> depends upon the size of the sample, for example, exit polls. Uh, the finally, conceptual and uh, empirical research. Conceptual means the researcher thinks of an idea in the form of a theory. For example, um, the, in one place there is a doubt, in one place uh, heavy downpouring rain. How the clouds of, from the downpouring rain area bring into the place where the drought is uh, existing. The empirical research is uh, scientifically proven, for example, Newton's third law. And uh, I have extended the other types of research as well. So one-time research, longitudinal research, operational research, field setting research, simulation research, clinical research, historical research, and conclusion-oriented research. And uh, how to write an abstract. Once the what type of research you want to do, uh, it is decided. We, we start writing the abstract. Abstract should be so relevant to the paper, editor immediately must feel that, uh, take a quick decision that this paper should be published. How many types of abstracts are there? Unstructured abstracts, so that comes to 100 to 250 words. Structured abstracts, uh, um, which are related to the fields of medical economy, economics and the natural sciences. Uh, it has several paragraphs. Extended abstract is almost like a, a shorter one mini paper. And the conference abstract is 500 words. So the organizers of the conferences uh, decides whether this abstract should be included in the proceedings or not. And the style of the abstract it differs from journal to journal and uh, uh, structure and information also differs. And what should be the context of the abstract? There are three points I discussed in the context of the research. 25% must be what, what project I'm carrying out and uh, why I'm writing this project. What is the gap? These three points should be elevated in the very first uh, writings of the paper. That is, for example, a new thing is brought up by FinFET Technologies. Uh, they found out the five in a nanometer chip to find out the heart rate. Um, that is a, a factual information which they found out. The second point of uh, structure of uh, abstract is, and uh, what is the new contribution we are making, which was previously existing. For example, previously to, to construct a bridge or a house, we were bringing all types of uh, different materials and uh, they were keeping in the heaps. Now modular engineering prefabricated uh, material is kept at some places and it was brought uh, to a particular place where it should be installed. The third type of uh, or third point would I would like to discuss in the structure of the abstract is that does the um, the model which you are uh, putting forth in the um, paper is, does it really work? For example, I am giving the example of a drone design. Drone can be sent to the uh, inner or uh, a deeper uh, uh, places of where the depth is more. Uh, the cellar constructions or the under Ground, uh, um, uh, the underground roadways. For example, in Australia, there is a uh, tunnel which goes through Pacific Ocean. So to construct such type of things, engineers should not go in the initial stages and the intellectuals should not ruin their lives. So drones can be sent and they can find out uh, how much the structure is finished. And the results are also very important. Are the results are new ones to compare to the previous ones? And the implications of the future work uh, fifth point, which is uh, uh, the last point in the abstract. What is the style of the abstract? The first style is, uh, I found out, you you project yourself. Well, the second style is, we found out. When, when others are many, then we found out x is equal to y. Whereas the style three is, it was found out, passivization we use. And the researchers found out active wise, but uh, you, you attribute it to the third person. These are the different styles of abstracts. 
third and fourth were commonly used. And uh, in the uh, uh, tenses, what tense should be used? The simple present tense can be used. Uh, simple present tense can be used. Experiment uh, is over. And uh, abstract is dynamic and more convincing. And uh, simply, you can also find out uh, the researchers found out simple past tense also is applicable. And in the scientific research in the last few years, where, where you want to use present perfect, the, the, uh, uh, the experiment has been completed very recently, then we can use present perfect. Or else the experiment still going on for the past one decade, then we can use present continuous. Then the how the introduction uh, uh, should be written. There are nine uh, parts in the introduction. Definition should be written. Readers are familiar with the content. Second part, specific area of the research. Fourth point is little background information for the motivation. And also the survey of the pertinent literature. And then the researcher's contribution, aim of the present work, uh, main results and the future implications is the last one. And what tense should be used in the introduction? And generally we use the simple present tense or we can use present perfect uh, when we want to use in the introduction. But the end of the introduction must be simple present tense only because you what you want to tell will be continued in the rest of the research paper. And what are the research methods? In the literary review, we have to dig the historical documents which are related to the paper the researcher has taken. And then they, we can record the record, uh, notes or the content or the CDs, film listening we can do. For example, for example, I have taken an example for the civil engineering students. Here, let us think that he has taken frame structures. Frame structures means what? Frame structures means beams, columns, slabs, examples, uh, bridges, and uh, bicycle construction. And then the different types of uh, structures are cell structures. And uh, then where, where uh, now it is very, very famous, um, uh, famous, especially in Australia and all other Western countries, and tortoise and uh, seashells, nutshells, examples, tunnels are of those structures. Or uh, drink cans are also th those shell structures. And the liquid structures uh, in Dubai and all people want their uh, houses uh, in the in the midst of waters. And uh, though the floating out, uh, uh, they come under liquid structures. Beam structures uh, we know pretty well horizontal support and uh, example house. Solid structure is how we construct uh, with the granite and the literate rocks, uh, dams and bridges. The methods uh, which we use is uh, recording CDs. What we are doing. Um, Zoom meetings. Uh, it may be in the independent participant, one participant. It may be mass participants can be there. So thank you very much uh, uh, for uh, patient listening. Definitely, it will help you to rethink how to write the research paper. Once again, thank you very much from Manarity Engineering College. So, sign out, Sabita. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Thank you. Thank you.